Hello all. We are going to make simple registration system and this will be the demo of our project. This is the sign up form. Here I am having username, password field and confirm password field. I will just write one user. I will be writing here Suresh. Password I am just going to give 1234. Confirm password 1234. I will click on sign up. As soon as I click on sign up, I will be getting you have registered successfully. Ok. Once I click on OK, I will be redirected to signin.php. Now here I can just sign in. I will be writing here Suresh. Inside this I will give password 1234. Sign in. You have successfully logged in. OK. Now you can see inside this home.php I will be getting this message. Welcome Suresh. Explore our website and here I am having this logout button. As soon as I click on this logout, all the variables whatever I have created for Suresh that will be destroyed that is basically session variables will be destroyed and I will be redirected to sign in page. Now here I am having don't have an account sign up. Now again if I just write here Suresh password I will be giving 1234 confirm password 1234 sign up you can see username already exists. So I cannot enter same username again and again only once I can enter ok this is the first condition without entering any fields if i just click on sign up i will be getting this message please fill out all the fields next we are just going to see let me just write here ramesh password i'll be giving 1234 confirm password 12345 now when i click on sign up i'll be getting passwords do not match okay again i have to sign up i'll just write here ramesh password 1234 confirm password 1234 sign up now I will be successfully registered. Ok. I will be redirected to sign in page. Now inside this I am just going to write here Ramesh. Ok. Password was 1234. Now here I will be writing A, B, C, D. I will click on sign in. You can see invalid credentials. Now instead of Ramesh I will just write here Ramesh 1. Password I will give 1234. Sign in. You can see invalid credentials. Ok. For both the conditions it is going to check. Once if the condition matches, only then I will be able to log in. Now here I am just going to give Ramesh. I will just give 1, 2, 3, 4. Sign in. You have successfully logged in. Ok. Now here I am having welcome Ramesh. Ok. Whichever user has logged in, that username will be displayed here. As soon as I click on log out, whatever variables we are having here and inside this title also you can see I am having welcome Ramesh. Ok. We are going to see how to display this kind of output. As soon as I click on logout, whatever variables I have created for Ramesh, that entire thing will be destroyed. I will click on logout. Now here I can register using Suresh as well. I will be writing 1234 sign in. You have successfully logged in. Ok. You can see welcome Suresh. Ok. This is how we are going to display the data. We are just going to create this simple login system. We are going to see how to register a user, how to create login credentials, how to display this home.php and how to work on logout page. And the password will be stored in encrypted format. Okay, we are going to do password hashing and whatever hash we are getting of that password, that hash we are going to store inside the database. Okay, everything we are going to see. I'll click on logout. Now here I'm having sign in. Now I'll just write here Suresh. Password 1234 sign in ok now you can see here i am having welcome suresh and logout button ok this is how we are going to create this simple project we are going to see one by one how to create registration form how to create sign up form how to add php logic for each and everything we are going to see and also we are going to learn about sessions why sessions are useful and where sessions will be useful everything we are going to see and also i will be providing you the source code I will be providing you zip file and also the PDF of the source code. Okay, whichever is comfortable for you, you can use that one. You don't have to copy and paste entire code. You have to type by yourself. If you don't type by yourself, you will not understand the logic going behind. Type by yourself, practice by yourself and definitely you are going to get good results. Okay, let's get started with this project and let's understand what are the requirements for this project and let's start with creating simple form. Let's understand the basics of each and everything and finally jump into the project. Who are taking this course and want to make this simple registration system, all the best for each one of you. Definitely you are going to achieve this. Let's start with the project.